What's good, guys? I'm Calvin A. I'm the CDC at Winsun in Brooklyn. Today, Inga challenged me to do a dollar store challenge to use ingredients from Daiso, this Japanese dollar store, and attempt to make a two-course meal, one entree and one dessert. Let's go. We finally made it out here to Daiso out in Flushing. Now we're just gonna go look around for some stuff. We got a lot of fun shit around. We got some pretty sick plates here for a dollar store. Dude, this is like straight food section now. This is like surrounded by food all over. Ooh, it's like noodle stacks, yakisoba flavor, AKA MSG. Usable. I love Pocky. I've probably eaten all these flavors. It's good be for dessert. Almond crunch, hell yeah. Hot and spicy, I'm down. Yeah, I thought this was marshmallow. <laughs> it's a sponge. Ooh, wasabi peas. Not wasabi flavored, but still delicious. We'll definitely use some chocolate. Let's definitely get some protein up in here for the entree. Grilled dried yellow jack. All right, wanna go seafood? Sure. Yeah, they actually got rice and stuff. We could probably do a rice or, or noodle dish. Yeah, let's do it. A curry noodle. I think I'm gonna grab a udon. It was so good. I've actually never used these curries before, but people rave about these things. All right, how hot? I like it really spicy, but... You got it. <laughs> it's some furikake. I'll probably jazz it up with a bunch of other snacks. It's like a seaweed-based seasoning with sesame seeds and a bunch of other stuff. I love seaweed snacks. I think I'll blitz this up, and that'll be a good little seasoning mix. A little chili oil drizzle on top. Let's grab a soy sauce. All right, so I think we have the entree covered. And now let's go back to thinking about dessert. I love red bean stuff. Got some of this baked wheat cake pastry roll. I feel like I could do something with this. Maybe I could soak this. Well, let's see what drinks they have. Ooh, all right, I got it. A little bread pudding type dessert with milk. Yeah, because we don't have milk. Take one of these, take a coffee shot. Milk tea and coffee together is mad good. Let's just do both. I used to love this stuff when I was little. We could use just like the frosting part. Honestly, I think we're pretty set. Yeah, now we're back here at the BuzzFeed Kitchens and I'm just gonna do a little recap and kind of what my plan is and my idea. I'm sure it'll change as I go. I kind of separated it out into two sections. This side will be dessert and this side will be the entree. I'm trying to do like a little coffee, milk tea, bread pudding. And on this side, we're gonna do uh, curry udon with some peas, some jerky, and I'll whip up a little seasoning mix. Should be good. I'll probably start with doing the dessert first. Have some time to cook in the oven. I have faith. Daiso never disappoints. This is the baked wheat coffee cake. See what it tastes like. It's okay, a little dry. We'll make it work. Now, nah, this red bean thing has to be good. It's literally like pancake with like a sweet red bean filling. Ooh, this is actually really good. The coffee cake's more neutral, so it might actually work really well. I brought my everyday knife just cause I'm used to using it, I'm familiar with it. It's like weird using it cutting sponge cake, but gets the job done, gets everything done. I'm just gonna whip up a little batter. We didn't get eggs at Daiso, but everyone has eggs at home, right? We should try these coffee drinks too. Ooh, that's sweet. It's good though. Add a little bit of this. This coffee shot, I think is just unsweetened straight black. Cut that sweetness from the other one. This is the milk tea. Tastes like the that I drank growing up in like Chinatown bakeries. This will be nice. More of that. I wing everything. <laughs> That's what cooking is about. Just wing it, taste it, use all your senses, and see how it goes. Get these bad boys in. I'm just gonna soak it up a bit before I chuck it in the oven. You want it to be a little custardy. A little butter is a staple. Butter makes everything better. Get it all up on the sides. Dude, I love butter. It's basically French toast chopped up in a pan. Usually I would add like milk, half and half or cream or something, but milk tea counts, it's flavored milk, even better. Add a little chocolate to it. Ooh, cut them in half so they melt. Cool, 15, 20 minutes, 350. We'll check it at 17, see where we're at. We wait for the bread pudding to cook. It will work on the curry udon. I think I'm gonna do a soft soy marinated egg for that one. So I'm gonna get the eggs cooking for that. Crank this thing up. I'm only gonna put one on the dish, but I'll cook another in case. It cracks or you get hungry. I like seven minute eggs, a little jammier. And then I'll see what I'm working with, with this curry. I've never used this before, but you said it's good, so I trust you. Yeah. You picked extra hot too. It smells really good. I want to definitely rehydrate the dried seafood that we got. This is legit just like whole dried little fishies. Dude, that's just pretty tasty. You don't have to rehydrate that one. It's not even that chewy. This is the dried file fish. This one's chewy. I'm just gonna cut this up into strips and then soak it up. This one looks weird. Ooh, three different textures. <laughs> this is crunchy. This will be nice for like the top maybe. All right, so I'm definitely rehydrate this. Might as well just throw these bad boys in too. Cool. 
And then I'll probably use the liquid as well to help build the curry sauce later. This I'll reserve in another bowl. Got that all sorted out. Yeah, we said we were gonna do our own version of uh, furikake. You literally throw that on anything. This one's kind of citrusy too. It's nice. And these were that crispy noodle snack. So they're just like broken ramen packets. Delicious. A little bit of that. Hot and spicy corn snack. That'll be good. All right, eggs are done. Let this hang out. And we'll blitz this up and make our own little seasoning mix for the top. A little taste. Yeah, that'll be mad good. A little snack powder. So we got that mise en place out. Let's see what we're working with with these noodles. These are pretty much fully cooked. All we're doing is reheating these later. Eggs are out. I'm gonna peel these up, get them in a little soy sugar mixture. By that time the sauce and noodles are done, these will be perfectly marinated. See, good thing we did another. This one's busted. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. <laughs> That's the bottle. <laughs> nice, little sugar. Cool, I'll let this hang out here as well. The third thing we got, besides butter and eggs, are scallions. So I'm gonna utilize the greens for the garnish later and the white parts. Just gonna treat these as onions. By the time we finish this, the bread pudding should be ready to come out the oven. It's just canola oil. I also decided I'm gonna add these uh, dried vegetables and rehydrate these a little bit in the pan. This is the packets that came with the udon. And we're gonna throw the peas in there as well as our vegetables. Not enough. Get these packets opened up. More scallions. See, if you don't wanna cheat, just use these packets then. I like fresh scallions. Add this block, melt this down. Add some peas for health. Then I'm gonna add all the liquid from rehydrating this fish. Should add flavor, help build this sauce better. Let it reduce, let it thicken a little bit, taste it, re-season if we need to. Add a little more salt. Ooh. Cut the heat, add some butter, emulsify that in, give it a better mouthfeel. One last taste, hopefully. Dude, it's pretty nice. It's not even that hot. Nice. Dude, it looks and smells pretty good. Let this rest, finish absorbing all the liquid. It should still be really custardy. These noodles are hard cooked, so they shouldn't take more than two or three minutes in the water. Dude, ready to roll. A little oil. Got our sauce that we made. Pretty intense in flavor. A little bit should go a long way. A little bit of the udon water help bring this together. And then we'll taste it. Maybe we can use a little more seasoning. Use a little more of the curry. One last taste. Ooh. Plate this up. Got that soy egg that we did earlier. Just hang out here. And a couple of these wasabi seaweeds, a little bit on top. A little heat from this chili oil. Fish crunchies. And then our seasoning mix is a little bit on top over these eggies, scallion tops. The main entree is finished. It's the squid, fish, veggie, curry situation. Now we're just gonna finish up this dessert real quick. I'm just chopping up some of the random pocky sticks we bought. Throw this all over for some texture. I think these are a little more pink. Maybe a little strawberry. I haven't had these in so long. Cool. Oh, I did say I wanted to use this frosting. A couple dabs. There she is. Legitimately looks like gourmet restaurant food. It's so good. Pack. It's a lot of different dried concentrated fish, yeah. but you don't really taste it. It's more yeah. like umami versus mm -hmm. fishy. That was genius. <laughs> 10 points for presentation, 11 points for flavor. Look at this! This looks so legit. I don't know what I'm eating, but it tastes good. You definitely taste the red bean. Yay! All right, you did it. Cool. It's so good. You're amazing. Well, that's it. I hope you guys were inspired by these two dishes. Feel free to roll up to Dollar Store, Supermarket, Daiso, wherever, and just cop random ingredients and just have fun. <laughs>